right, here we are hooked up to a 2005 Kenworth with a Caterpillar engine. So we're gonna show you what you can do with the Texa. So the first thing with it, we need to tell it what protocol we're gonna use. And we're gonna pick this one, the Caterpillar protocol. We hit the start button. And we'll do the self-diagnose. And we'll give it a minute here, and a new window will open up. And uh, you'll see we got it hooked up here in the cab of the vehicle. There's on our nine pin connector up on the dash. And there we have our Texa unit. So uh, it's asking to make sure the engine is on, which it is, or the ignition on. And we'll give it a go here and see what kind of information we can pull out of it. So now we're seeing where the ECM has been found. So it's just taking a second to gather all the data from the ECM. Obviously there's a lot of information going from the engine to the computer, so it takes it a minute or two to get everything it needs. So what we're gonna show you in here is where you can view all the live data, along with some of the tests that you can do, uh, which would include your injector tests, uh, this is a pre-EGR engine, so there's no EGR tests that are in this one. Uh, this won't be much we can show you there, obviously. Uh, we'll show you some of the other tests that you can do, such as sending some bi-directional commands to the ECM. So, just give another minute or so here, and we should be good to go. Now it's downloading all the parameters. Parameters are actually live values. So it's trying to figure out what sensors are on the ECM and what it can show you on the screen. The newer trucks, they'll have a lot more parameters. Um, we've been on earlier today, it literally had over 300 different parameters on it. Um, so here we go, so we're hooked up. This vehicle has no fault codes. First thing I wanna show you over here is parameters. And this is reading all the live data plus whatever kind of settings are set on this thing. So obviously the engine's off right now. There's no engine speed being shown. And if you look up in the corner up here, you'll see there's 132 different ones. So it'll tell you what's installed, what's not. Engine coolant temperature, manifold air temperature. Everything you want to look at this vehicle is shown in here. All right, we'll just quickly go real through this real quick so you can see everything. Um, and there's a bunch of them, all right? We went to the faults tab, that's where it started. There was obviously no faults found. ECU info, it's telling us which protocol it's on. Right now it's on the CAT ETA protocol, and it tells us the engine serial number. This is an MXS series. Over here in activations are some of the tests that we can run. So the one people always are asking for is cylinder cutoff tests. So right there, cylinder cutoff test. If I hit the start button, a window will pop up, um, and then we can cut out the different injectors. Obviously, we're not gonna start the engine here during the video to do it, but there it is. Cancel, go back. Delete errors would be to clear all your codes, your injector solenoid tests, your, uh, where your speed limiter is set, and special tests. If we go into special tests, uh, we hit continue at the screen, and it's gonna pull up a list of different tests. So, we use the arrow keys to go through the different tests. Not active means the test is not running. Not installed means the vehicle does not have the component installed, so there's no point in running the test. So one we can do here for a demo is I'm gonna scroll down to the warning lamp test. I'm gonna hit the confirm button, and we'll have the camera go up here to the dash to show you the red light that comes on the tack. So I hit the start test button. Put it in there. Us turning the red light on and off on the dash. All right, come on back one more time. So there it is. That's just the one simple test. We wanted to show you at least one example of a, a test we can do with the engine off. Um, they also have the air intake taken off this vehicle. It's in for repairs, so that's why we don't want to run it. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch of different tests in here that are available to you on this vehicle. All right, 
So, and that's it for the Caterpillar training on the Texa.